Hi, this is my new Serrano ham from Spain, Jamon Serrano. Got this from Costco and it's about 15 pounds and took Hubby and I a while to get that sorted out. Definitely a two person deal. Now, instructions say that you don't need to refrigerate this and you need to keep it covered after, but you can also refrigerate it if you want to and let it rest at room temperature. Comes with a special knife. Ooh, that feels sharp. So let's see. If I can only manage to get this plastic out. It's very oily. There we go. Okay, so we have a little bit of meat exposed. Mm. Now, you're supposed to cut the fat off. So let's do that. Or actually, you put it back on. <laughs> okay, we came across bone. Oh, that is looking beautiful. So the trick is small slivers like so, paper thin. Mm. It's actually very good. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious. You're supposed to make it breathe also. I don't think that will make it to the platter. Mm. I have never carved ham before, so this is the first time. It's the first time for everything. And <laughs> it's disappearing. It's not even well, getting to rest. The textures are different. It's like a prosciutto. No. Well, I also need to cut it really yeah. thinly. The thinner the better. Yep. I just need to. Mm. That's so good. Yes, it has to be cut thinly, so I have to practice. There we go. Paper thin, transparent. But I'm going to practice cutting then. Oh my God, it is good. Very inexpensive at Costco. I think I paid $99 for. 15 pounds, 14 and a half. I think this is closer to 17. It's really good. Oh, yum. <laughs> I have to confess, I cut up that much. And that's what I got because most of them never made it to the plate. It's quite good. The only thing is you don't eat the fat. It is um, not just salty, but it's very rubbery. And I think it's the fat that protects the rest of the meat from going rancid. Anyway, I'm gonna to have to Google how to carve jamon serrano, you know, and and um, see how the experts do it. But, oh, this baby is beautiful and it tastes so good. Yep, there it is. So I'm gonna to have to figure out how to serve it. I would just eat it probably with some deviled eggs and I'm good to go. So we're gonna have this for our movie group tomorrow. But I'm also serving this for Noche Buena because I'm sure there's going to be a lot left over. And whatever else extra there is, I'd probably cut up and freeze if there is leftover. But if not, enjoy it. Jamon Serrano is really a great value. Got this at Costco. My review of the Serrano Jamon or Jamon Serrano is that it's really awesome. What I did was I Googled it after and... Um, Ideally, what you're supposed to do is remove all the plastic wrapping, which I did, and I um, to air it for a day or so, for a day, and um, I just put back this little fat just so the meat will not dry out. And then I'm going to cover this with foil later. But what um, the experts say is that if you've aired this at room temperature and you want to slice new meat again, just discard the top layer so that everything will be nice and moist inside. 
And earlier I said, don't eat the fat because it's stuffed, but a little bit of fat, oh my gosh, the flavors are in the fat and it's very delicious. I've been eating quite a bit of this, but oh, here, here's one with a little fat. Not the perfect slice yet. I'm much better now at slicing, but mm. jamón serrano. Oh, qué bueno, qué delicioso. Mm. Qué rico. So this is Marvi, and um, I hope you enjoy jamón serrano one of these days. Adiós.